and welcome to this spectacular Halloween edition of Top Row Reality, right here on YouTube. I am, of course, 3H, along with China Cabinet. Hello. Welcome. The voice is a little deep there, it China is. Cabinet. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoy each and every segment this week, because a lot of episodes this week, and it's going to be <laughs> spectacular. Exactly. For part five, says so Spooky Tack. Spooky Tacular. Spooky Tacular. Spooky and Halloween Spooktacular. <laughs> no, I'm doing mine. Oh, you're doing the ears first. Okay. <laughs> no, that was good. Skull oh, J. Skull J is violent. Violence. He ends up just broke his jaw there for a second. <laughs> Like, He's on, a skeleton. Man. You can still break a jaw? I can rip a jaw off. You could. It's not the Walking Dead, though. Okay. Halloween Havoc started in 1989. Oh, I was a year old. And the top matches for 1989 was the Freebirds, Jimmy Garvin, Michael Hayes, taking on the Dynamic Dudes. Horrible. Shane Douglas and the People Power, Johnny Ace. He had long hair, mullet, and a skateboard. Yes. <laughs> But they had, hey, hey they had Jim Cornette they had with him. Jim Cornette, yes. Oh Lord. But the the not Freebirds, everything you put him with is going to get over. It. No. Okay. But the Freebirds retained the NWA Tag Team Championship. Oh, uh, better. We had Lex Luger defeat Brian Pillman to the to the retain the uh, United States Championship. Through he itching again? Yes, yeah, a little bit. And we had Flair with Steam. With Ole Anderson. With Ole, they defeated the Great Muda and Terry Funk with Gary Hart. With Not Bruno rest. San Martino as special guest referee. In, In a, a thunder, thunder cage. cage! In a thunder cage. Is that the same one that they, that they electrocuted at Bill no. no. Is that on the same paper you? Not no, the same year, but really. I, I thought it was on Halloween Havoc. Though. I was looking through that, but never did see that. Never saw that. the electrocution. Never saw the electrocution. I wonder where that was at. Go watch it, though. Go no, find it. Don't. Go find it. Don't. Do now we're up to 1990. Oh, that's when this. Yeah, that's the handle. The electric switch falling down already. Yeah, during, during the match, it fell down on on. So that whoever went they went had to lift it up and then pull it back down from the. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, after 1990, we had the Steiner brothers defeat the Nasty Boys to retain the NWA Tag Team Championship. U.S. Tag Team Championship. Oh, the United States. Yes, that's right. They had two different ones. They did have two different ones. They were so special. And then in, now here's the NWA Tag Team Champions. Two tag. Doom. Two tag team title matches. There you go. Fall Rick Flair and Arn Anderson in a double, double count. count. Stan Hansen, the Lariat Man. Defeated Lex Luger. To re to win the U.S. Championship. Yeah, I, remember, I remember that match. Sting defeated Sid Vicious to retain the NBA World Heavyweight Championship. And then... But, but that was weird. all the craziness. That's weird. It is. Not Why weird. is he going against him again, though? No. See, so what he did, he pinned Vicious. Okay. After the Stinger Splash. Uh-huh. But it was Barry Windham... They was, that was when Barry Windham became Sting. They went to the back. Sting got held. Sid brought Barry dressed out as Sting uh, and pinned Barry. So they restart the match again. And Sting then beat Sid uh, to retain the Interesting. Power. Yes. Halloween Havoc, 1991. The WCW World Television Champion Steve Austin, stunning Steve, yes. fought Dustin Rhodes to a time limit draw. They don't do that no more. It's pretty funny. Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on Gold Dust. Oh, interesting. That is very interesting. WCW sucked. With those two people. Brian oh, Pillman yes. defeated Richard Morton uh, to become the first WCW light heavyweight champion. This was the finals of a tournament to crown the first light heavyweight champion, yes, before the Cruiserweight title. Yes. The Enforcers, Arn Anderson and Larry Savisco, probably a great team. I it really was a great them. team, yes. I was a little baby then. Defeated the Patriots, Todd, Champion, and Firebreaker Chip. They better have to retain <laughs> it. I don't even know them people. To retain well, look the up. WCW World Tag Team Champion. You can look them up, Matt? The WWE Network for only nine ninety nine. Yeah. Woo! Lex Luger with Harley Race. That was probably a pretty good pairing there with Harley. 
defeated Ron Simmons with Dusty Rhodes in a two out of three falls match to retain the WCW World Championship. Simmons pinned Luger. Simmons was disqualified for throwing Luger over the top rope, though. Oh, so Luger pinned that's, Simmons that's, after a power that, 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 That's Bill Watts right there. Uh -huh. Over the top over rope the top is a disqualification. Stupid Halloween stuff. Havoc. 1992. Can we do this one? You want to do that one? Sure, you go ahead. A 1992. Okay. Two. Oh, well, you we want to do the card. Yep. <laughs> the NWA and WCW World Tag Team Champions, Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes, fought oh. Steve Austin and Steve Williams to a time to draw. Steve Austin's Austin, real name is Steve Williams. Austin was subbing for Terry Bam Bam Gordy, who oh. did not show. Oh, probably got drawn with that. Rick Rude with Medusa defeated the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Masuda Chono. Masahiro Chono. Uh, Masahiro Chono. I can't see. With it. Hero Matsuda. Yeah, I knew there was somebody there. With Harley Race and Kenzu Sasaki. <laughs> that's not the right Kenzu Sasaki, then. That's a different name. That's a different one, yeah. Kenzu Sasaki was a horrible name on SmackDown. Bounce Sasaki as a special guest referee. Bounce Yeah, get to the special part. Oh, There's just always Ron Simmons with. <laughs> Mac Millen's him coming to get on. Teddy Long defeated the Barbarian with Cactus Jack to retain the he WCW World have. Heavyweight Championship. He Sting defeated oh, Jake Roberts in a coal miner glove match. Coal miner oh, glove match. Oh, gosh. Sting pins Robert after Roberts was bitten by his own snake. Woo. That's where they spin the wheel, make the deal match. Horrible. Halloween Havoc 1993. WCW World Television Champion Lord Stephen Regal. Fought Davy Boy Smith to a time limit draw. Dustin Rhodes defeated Steve Austin to retain the WCW US Championship. The Nasty Boys with Missy Hyatt, that's weird, defeated Marcus Bagwell to Court Scorpio with coming to get it on Teddy Long to win the WCW World Tag Team Championships. Rick Rude defeated Rick Flair with Terry Taylor. Oh my gosh, horrible. <laughs> As special enforcer. <laughs> okay. By disqualification, oh, that's horrible. To retain the WCW International World Heavyweight Championship. That title didn't last very long. No, it Big didn't. Van Vader with Harley Race defeated Cactus Jack in a Texas death match. Vader won after he pinned Jack on the stage after a DDT on a chair and Race tased Jack to keep him down for the referee's 10 count. This was a spin the wheel, make the deal match. Halloween Havoc 1994. WCW World Television Champion. I want you to have the television title back. I know, right? Johnny B. Ladd fought the Honky oh, Tonk Man to a time limit draw. That was both damn fun, man. Pretty wonderful, Mr. Wonderful Paul Ondorff and Paul what Roma. A great defeated Stars and Stripes, the Patriot, and Marcus Alexander Bagwell to win the WCW that World Tag Team Champion. That means Stars and Stripes were the Tag Team Champions. Yes, WCW sir, they were. Sucked. Okay. Hulk Hogan with Jimmy Hart defeated Ric Flair with Sensational Sherry with Mr. T as Special Enforcer That's in a Steel before. Cage Career versus Career match to retain the WCW World title. Horrible. Hogan pinned Flair after a leg drop. Per the match stipulation, Flair was forced to retire That's after right. the match. Hogan was attacked by a masked man who had been stalking him for months. Months. I love the name. Uh, Hogan eventually unmasked the masked man to reveal him as Brother Bruta. Bruta. Because I couldn't call it Brutas. Had to, get, had to get my job somewhere. Oh, gosh. Halloween Havoc 1995. I'm surprised he didn't show up in TNA then with, with Hogan. Halloween Havoc 95. Johnny B. Bad defeated DDP with a diamond doll and Max Muscle to win the World Television Championship. Hulk Hogan defeated the Giant in a sumo monster truck match. I was just watching this the other day on the network. Horrible. Yeah. Hogan's Hulkster truck pushed Giant's Dungeon of Doom truck out the circle for the way. That's redneck there. Thank you. This match was actually taped the previous night. WCW stunt coordinator Ellis Edwards portrayed the referee for this match. That's stupid. And the commentary team was joined by Bigfoot creator... Bob Chandler, stupid. After the match, Hogan and the Giant began fighting, resulting in Giant kayfabe falling off the side of the building. Then the Giant with the Taskmaster, after falling off the building, <laughs> yes, he fell not off the dying, building. defeated it was the Hogan. Remember Bobby was going, what's the, right. what's the street side of the water side? No, no, no. Exactly. Either way, it still would hurt. But anyway, he yeah. beat him at the DQ to win the WCW Championship. So Hogan was disqualified, but at that point, Jimmy Hart had actually been with the Dungeon of Doom, and he put that in the contract where he lost by DQ, he would lose the belt. And Lex Luger also interfered, joining the Dungeon of Doom. Horrible! <laughs> it's pretty stupid. Next. Okay. 
But you didn't want to finish about Randy Savage. Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah, so yeah, John got one. John took the belt, got stripped of the title, and they said they were going to put it in the uh, World War Three. Horrible, which was won by Randy Savage. Yes. Yeah, so Savage became a champion. 1996, Dean Malenko defeated Ray Mysterio Jr. to win the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. The Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, defeated Harlem Heat, Booker T, and Stevie Ray with Sister Sherry and Colonel Robert Parker Lord. to win the WCW World Tag Team Championship. I'm coming to get you, Hogan! That's right. That's what I'm going to say. That's right. Hulk Hogan, I mean Hollywood Hogan, defeated Randy Savage to retain the WCW World Championship. Hogan pinned Savage after the giant choke slam Savage to the floor. Giant then dragged an unconscious Hogan onto Savage during the match. Miss Elizabeth interfered on Savage's behalf. Interesting. Ronnie Pipes Lush came out following the match right. to confront Hogan and make his WCW debut. Ooh. Okay. All right. What if he was done with that frog movie? Anyway. <laughs> frog Town or whatever it's called. I don't know. Anywho, horrible. 1997. 1997 Halloween Havoc. Ray Mysterio Jr. defeated Eddie Guerrero in a mass versus title match to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Kurt Henning defeated Ric Flair by disqualification to retain the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. And no, it was not a loser leave WWF match. Wrong show. Randy Savage with Miss Elizabeth defeated DDP in a Las Vegas sudden death match. Sudden death, all right. Page was counted out after a fake sting, Hollywood Hogan. Hit Page with a baseball bat. The only way to win the match was to have your opponent not answer the referee's 10 count. How's that a sudden death? Weird. <laughs> Roddy Piper defeated Hogan in his steel cage match. Piper beat Hogan by a sleeper hold. You'll never see that again in this era, please. No. You will not. Randy Savage interfered by climbing into the cage, and he and Hogan beat down Piper following the match. After the match, a fan climbed into the cage and was beat up by Hogan and Savage as the show abruptly cut out because they were going to get sued. <laughs> yes. Halloween Havoc 1998. Chris Jericho defeated Raven to retain the WCW World Television Championship. Nice. Billy Kidman defeated Disco Inferno to retain the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. Nice. Rich Steiner and Buff Bagwell defeated the Giant and Scott Judy Steiner to win the WCW World Tag Team Championships. A lot of people winning the titles. Uh, I'm telling you. Bret Hart defeated Sting to retain the WCW United States Championship. Good Hollywood the Hogan time. defeated the Warrior. Hogan pinned the Warrior after Horace Hogan came out and hit the Warrior with a chair, and many errors of the pay-per-view was cut out after this match. So for those errors, this was the last match which aired on pay-per-view. Wow. The main event was Goldberg defeating Diamond Dallas Page to retain the it's WWE good thing World didn't go Championship. On the main event, though. Goldberg enough. pinned Page as a jackhammer. This match was also shown free the next night on Nitro due to the pay-per-view feed cutting out in oh, many areas. Oh, that shop so nice. The 19 card is famous for featuring Hollywood Hogan versus the Warrior in a wildly... Horrible. How about that? Yes. Rematch from WrestleMania 6. A 99 pay-per-view. Yeah, WCW. Right, we don't know that, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yes, everybody's saying that that was the worst match of the year. ever yeah. described. Then WCW announcer Gene Oakland described the contest as a disaster. Former President WC President Eric Bischoff Critical opinion of this was one of the worst matches in history. It's pretty bad. It is. They just won the money of uh, having Warrior Hogan again. Yeah, just to massage Hogan's ego. Much stunk up the match, stunk up the joint. How bad is that? I mean, that's that is pretty terrible, sad. Terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible, terrible, oh, terrible. Wow, the light. the light went out. That was creepy. Light went out in Georgia. That's right. He dismissed going, reports he that he had hired Warrior solely to lose to Hogan in return for Hogan's WrestleMania loss, claiming that these are not true and that those responsible are drinking their own Kool-Aid. Warrior, who described the bout as horrible, even he even said it was horrible, opposed the uh, what Bischoff said. He stated they used Turner's checkbook to buy him to come back to lose to a match to Hogan. Hogan, has, Hogan yeah. has accepted the blame for the poor execution of the contest, saying it is probably on the list of the all-time ten worst matches I've ever had, but it was my fault. WCW ran the pay-per-view to three and a half hours rather than the standard three. Due to this, many pay-per-view feeds ended up going out. Yes, they do. Goldberg's DDP was still underway. <laughs> WCW aired the match the following night for free, like I said. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Uh -huh. How do we have it? Nineteen ninety-nine. Um, yes. Disco Inferno defeated Lash Larue to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Harlem Heat defeated the Filthy Animals, Billy Kidman and Conan, and the first family, Brian Knob, 
Nobbs, and Hugh Morris. With Jimmy Hart in a triple threat street fight to win the vacant WCW Tag Team titles. Rick Steiner defeated Chris Benoit. Benoit! Wow, you got scared. You spooky. They both say that name. To win the television championship. Sting defeated Hogan to retain the WCW world title. In three seconds? Yes, because Hogan laid down for Sting, allowing the Sting to allowing Sting to pin him for the win. That's stupid. Goldberg defeated Sid to win the WCW United States Championship. DDP defeated Ric Flair in a strap match. Goldberg defeated Champion Sting in an improv unsanctioned match. Weird. But uh, originally nice. Goldberg was awarded the title following the match, and the following night, the Nitro Sting declared that he was never agreed to defend the title and called James J. Dillon to the ring to explain. Dillon then announced the title was being vacated due to Sting's attack on referee Charles Robinson during the unsanctioned match and announced the tournament for the vacated title to conclude the following month, Mayhem Pay-Per-View. Oh, Sting being bad? Yeah. Yes, I see it. Okay. Keep going. The Halloween Havoc 2000 and Natural Porn Thrillers. Mark Jindra got on Sean O'Hare, defeated the Filthy Animals, Billy Kimmon and Rey Mysterio Jr. with Conan and the Boogie Knights, Disco and Alex Wright, in a triangle match to retain the WCW World Tag Team Champions. Reno defeated Sergeant Awal to retain the Hardcore Championship. Buff Bagwell defeated David Flair in a first blood DNA match. How stupid. Mike <laughs> Sanders with Sean Stasiak and Chuck Palumbo defeated Ernest Miller with Miss Jones by countout in a kickboxing match. Third round. Two minutes, Miller was counted out while brawling with Shane Douglas. Sanders became the new commissioner of WCW. Direction defeated Lance Storm, who was the champion, and Jim Duggan with Major Guns in a handicap match to win the WCW U.S. Championship. Rection pinned Duggan after a no-laughing matter. He also won Major Guns Freedom from Team Kevin. Booker T defeated Scott Steiner with Medasia by disqualification to retain the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Goldberg defeated Chronic in a handicap elimination match. And then Goldberg pinned Clark after a spear through a table. And Goldberg pinned Adams after a jack hammer. So, up and down, up and down, up and down. But Halloween Havoc, you know, it could it, if you're done right, it could work. It could. Well, that's it for part five. Ooh, it was a long time. It was it? a long one. Uh, it was pretty damn scary. It was. Be back scary. for part six, Carter's Corner. That's right. You're welcome. And we'll do our Top Row Rowdy brand split. That's right. Be right back for tar part six of Top Row Rowdy right here on the YouTube of the big Halloween Spooktacular. Ooh.